and they no longer have any share in what is done, here's the key word right here at the very end, under the sun. The corruption, the corruptible flesh. All of this chapter, all of this uh, 5 and 6 is referring to under the sun, not the kingdom of God. So, we're basically, like right now, we're not in the other realm. We're in the earthly realm. So, we're, you can say that we're sleeping or we're dead to that realm. Like, we're not experiencing that realm right now. So, this verse is saying, for the living know that we're going to die. The dead in this realm, the ones that lost their physical bodies, know nothing at all. Okay? Nor do they have any more reward because the memory of them is forgotten. All their love, their hate, their jealousy, every all have perished and no longer have any share of what is done under the sun, not in the kingdom of God. So there's the key of what's going on there. They don't know what's going on under the sun. Now, why don't we know what's going on under the sun? I'm going to explain. I'm going to tell you right now and I'm going to explain it in a minute. Why don't we know what's going on with the sun? So when you die, you go to this place called Hades, right? Or Sheol, or the, a lot of people think it's, uh, it's the common grave. But when you die, you go to heaven. Okay, in heaven, you're waiting for a thousand years, okay, uh, for judgment. You're waiting for judgment day. That's when a judgment day is. You know, judgment day is after the thousand years. Then, you're judged, okay, during that thousand years, you have no idea what's going on here on the earth. All you're you're basically, and you you don't know what's going on because I know a lot of people they know that there's spirits here on earth, which there is, which we're gonna get into also later. I'm just telling you right now. The thousand years in the kingdom of God is like I explained to you earlier. It's not your flesh. This is corruption. The corruption could not into enter into the kingdom of God. There is no room for sin in heaven. There is no place for sin in heaven. You cannot be in heaven and have a body. The spirit is incorruptible. The flesh is corruption, corruptible. Okay. Let's go on to the next verse. We're in Ecclesiastes chapter nine, and it says, uh, "So go eat your food with your uh, with your rejoicing and drink." And we should enjoy this this time period enjoy life in general god is love god is joy you know what i mean so go eat your food with your with your rejoicing and drink your wine with your cheerful heart for already the true god has found pleasure with what you've done may your clothing always be white and do not fail to put on oil on your head enjoy life with your beloved wife all the days of your futile life okay which has been get which he has given you under the sun in earth the earth realm earth school i call it earth school we're here to learn things to take to you know the next life all the days of your futility for that is your lot in life and your hard work you toil under the sun okay that is your lot in life okay that's what uh that's what it is okay let's continue here so as for, we can get into this later also. So as for the 144,000, they are judges for after the thousand years. So the 144,000, okay, after the thousand years, you are in, it's basically one day. One day to God is a thousand years. After the thousand years in paradise or the kingdom of God, okay, in heaven, you'll be judged also with the 144,000. Okay, you will be judged with the 144,000. So now, who are the 144,000? Let's look this scriptures up real quick so you get an understanding of who these judges sitting on the throne of Jesus who will be judging you along with Jesus after the thousand years are. Okay, let's figure that out. Let's research. Wait real quick, before I get into the 144,000, uh, this, you know, a lot of, uh, sometimes if you do not be a part of this world, and people living for this world are the ones missing out basically on the next life. That goes back to deeds again. You, When you are living for the world, you are living selfishly and not for others. When you live for others and when you live for God, that's love. The other one is selfish. That goes back to my other conversation, which we'll have more of in the future, of 
self-will, God's will. What is God's will? When you understand more of this knowledge, you understand that your your will should be more aligned with God's because it's love is the right, love is the truth. So let's continue here with 144. Oh yeah, and that also goes to another scripture that says, "He who doesn't love his brother, he who doesn't love his brother, doesn't love me." And I and never, I would always bother me that scripture, but it's because he is the brother. And once again, that goes back to the other scripture where I start crying, where you you didn't, I can't talk, I can't say it, I'm gonna start crying again. But we are all connected. That goes back to connection. We are all one. We are separated here on earth. Okay. Let me finish. Let me let's continue. I'm getting emotional. Okay, let's continue. Hold on, I want to say something once, once, once more. It's really sad. It's really sad, and it's hard to talk about. All Jesus came down here to do was love, right? Love. And people spat on, spit on his face, they treat him like crap. And I've noticed this, and be very careful with this. The more that you practice love, actually caring for other people and humans, the more that you will be tried, tried with, like you're going to get more BS, you know, basically more, there's going to be more, I believe, trials. I may not be right on this point, but I, I just want to bring this out, that you may be like, it's hard, it's very hard, okay? Because we're supposed to love one another. That's that's the that's the key, love, right? But it's it becomes very hard when people are spitting on you and and, and stuff like that. But but remember, that's you. That the, there's another thing. You are, your team is on the weakest link. You know that this world is very corrupt and uh, it's very bad and nasty. So it's hard to love. But that's 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 what it is about. You know. It's very hard to love someone that hates you. But, you know, it's very hard to do that as a human being. Um, but the greatest, the greatest quality is love. And I know a lot of people, they don't know what that is. And it's very hard to show. But, yeah. Okay, let's continue. Oh, yeah, let me go back to religion real quick. So our spirits, our souls, what I was talking about, they're not religious. All uh, humans are religious and created religion. So when Jesus was here, Jesus, you say, what religion was Jesus? He was not part of any religion. He only proclaimed love and the kingdom of God, which was heaven. Okay, so <laughs> we should supposed to, we're supposed to be doing what Jesus was doing, but humans that went off and created religions off of what Jesus was doing, it's, you know, it doesn't make any sense. So, you know, like I said, our spirits are not religious. You know, there's... In heaven, I don't, I don't believe there's any religions. So, you know, just letting you know that Jesus was not in any specific religion was created by humans. Okay, a lot of religions have certain truths to them uh, from what I've, what I've noticed. But most, uh, uh, in those religions, there's a lot of false teachings. And human opinions in those religions, human opinions have elevated to divine status of of in those religions so be very careful with that so let's continue so right now we're back on track with 144,000 who are these judges that are we going to be judging with Jesus so we're in Revelation right now chapter 7 let's read verses 4 and I heard the number of those who were sealed 144,000 sealed out of every tribe of the sons of Israel out of the tribe of Judah 12,000 sealed out of the tribe of Reuben 12,000 sealed out of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 sealed. Out of the tribe of Asher, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Naphtal, 12,000. Out of the tribe. So these are all out of the tribes of Israel, by the way. Go look up who are the Israelites. Out of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Levi, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Ishkar, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 sealed. So I believe the Israelites were Jews which had a covenant with God. I believe you guys look that up because you know I'm you gonna I'm not hundred percent sure. Okay, so after this I saw and looked a crowd which no man was able to number. This was the nation set before the throne of Jesus. Out of the tribes, peoples, and tongues standing before the throne of the Lamb, we I mean, yeah, just said that Jesus, dressed in white robes, so we're gonna be dressed in white in heaven. 
for you know that's I guess representation representation of being clean of sin and spirit. Our spirits will be incorruptible, immortal spirits. And there was palm branches in their hands, and they kept shouting with a loud voice, saying, "Salvation we owe to our God who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb." You feel the love, man. You're going to feel that love. It's going to be good. Woo! And the angels are standing on the throne and the elders. And so let's look up another scripture of the 144,000 judges that are going to be judging the, the, the crowd here. Um, and another scripture that says whoa 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 those uh, still dwelling on earth because of the rest of the trumpet blasts of the three angels who are about to blow their trumpets so basically everyone else is going to be taken I guess you want to call it a rapture or whatever they're going to be taken to heaven right away um so here's a, the next chapter so we're all going to be there pretty much before Jesus okay and then uh, we're gonna be judged by Jesus we're all gonna be in the kingdom of God in heaven judging judged by Jesus and the hundred forty four thousands no we're not talking about who are the who are the hundred forty four thousands um it puts under compulsion on to this one Um, then I saw and look the lamb standing on Mount Zion with him a hundred forty four thousand who have the name on the name of his father written on their foreheads Let's look at the scripture before that because this is uh, How they're gonna know also who's which ones to put where Before that no before this 14. I'm in uh, Revelation chapter 13 it Says it puts under compulsion all people the small and the great and the rich and the poor the free and the slaves and these should be marked on their right hand on their forehead and that nobody could buy or sell except a person having the mark the name of the wild beast or the number of its name that is where it calls for wisdom let no one who has insight calculate the number of the wild beast let, let the one who has insight calculate the number of the wild beast for it's a man's number it's 666 so they had that on the right hand so that's how they could tell uh, how to judge also then I saw and looked the lamb standing on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000. I'm in chapter 14 of Revelation, chapter well, verse 1. And his name and the Father written on their foreheads. That's how they know to separate them, the sheep from the goats. I heard a sound. I heard a sound coming out of heaven, like the cloud of many waters, and like the the sound of loud thunder and the sound that I heard was like singers who accompany themselves by playing on their harps and they are singing what seems a new song before the throne and before the living creatures they're singing a new song and the elders and no one was able to match the song except the 144,000 so only the 144,000 know how to sing this song and have been bought from the earth okay these are the ones who did not defile themselves with women they basically, the ones who kept themselves very uh, clean like Jesus, they didn't defile themselves. Jesus didn't have a wife. Jesus did not have, you know, sex. He kept his body pure like his spirit, which most, like, humans don't do that. So the, the 144,000 did that. Okay? These are the ones who did not defile themselves with women, so they did not have sex in their life. If, if, if someone says to you they're part of the 144,000 and they have a wife, or they had a wife, they're not part of the 144,000. Their bodies are a sacred vessel. They keep their bodies, uh, you know, like Jesus kept his body, uh, you know, more holy. Not defile it, not defile the body. They're the ones that not defile themselves with women. In fact, they are virgins. They're the ones who kept following them that, that lamb no matter where he goes. These were brought from among mankind as first fruits to God and to the lamb. And no deceit was found in their mouths. They weren't talking deceit. They had no blemishes. All right, so that's that. That's who the 144,000 is. Basically, humans that were sealed out of the tribe of Israel certain tribes of Israel 12 12 12 12 12 
And these numbers keep on going to the Bible, the 12 apostles, you know, and the sevens keep on going, and numbers have meaning. Okay, so, uh, 144,000 were the ones with no bodily blemishes, which they kept their body as perfect as possible, or something around those lines. Um, but yeah, everybody's going to be judged in heaven, kingdom of God, where no flesh can reside. Anyways, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's talk. I know it was a lot to go over. And there's always going to be infinite amount of information. But, you know, for now, this is... I'm going to post this on my main page because I had an another video posted on my main page right now. Uh, where... Um, I was talking about my channel changing. So I'm going to put this one on my main page, actually. Because it's more... Of the meaty good spiritual food that you guys need to hear and a lot of you guys are not gonna like it and a lot of you guys are not gonna get to this point in the end <laughs> most people without anybody with like with a closed mind and I told you that are emotionally attached to their religion they're not gonna make it this far so those of you that have made it this far you know congratulations you're either one of two people most likely one you may be a lost soul and just kind of just taking in other people's realities and thinking or whatever. Or two, you may be like, okay, you're thinking about, you know, that this is going, that this makes sense. And, um, you know, with the religions created by mankind and what other things I was saying. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, share this video on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you want to share it. Feel free to copy this video. Um, life is love. And it's hard. Trust me. It's hard to love somebody that hates you. And a world that hates you. A world that is against you. That's why being a part of this world. Because the world is full of poop. I like how the one guy says, uh, The world is a broken bone. But melt your headaches. Call it home. Panic at the Disco, man. My favorite band. Panic at the Disco. Brandon Irvine. Irving. Irving. Whatever his last name is. Uh, my favorite singer, I guess. But yeah, be become a patron member today, guys. Like I said, this video is going to be monetized because this is between me and God. I must provide for my family, like I said. And a person that doesn't provide is a worse than a man without faith. God bless you guys. And peace out.